welcome to another tutorial by recurring reflections today we'll be finding the equation of a straight line given the parabola so our straight line is g of x and our parabola is f of x so the question says that find the equation of g of x given f of x which is equal to open bracket x minus 4 close bracket squared minus 9 so let's look at our sketch on the sketch we have five unknowns plus the, the equation of g of x our unknown is 2x intercept which is a and b and we also have an, uh, a, an x intercept of g of x which is d a and b are x intercept of f of x and c is y intercept of both g of x and f of x e is the turning point of f of x so before we find the equation of g of x we are going to calculate the or we are going to find the coordinates of each point a b c d and e which is our turning point so from the given equation of f of x, first thing that we are able to notice is that we have the equation of f of x is given in the in the form of a turning point. So already we have our p and we have our q. So at this point you can already tell that we have the coordinates of the turning point our p is our x coordinate and our q is our y coordinate so let's write that down the coordinate of e is 4n minus 9 and the other thing that we're able to notice from the given sketch is that is the x intercept of g of x which is perpendicular to e which is our turning point which means that they share the x coordinate d and e shares the x coordinate which means that d or the coordinates of d is 4 and 0 then from there we are going to find the coordinates of a and b so we are going to be like for a and b for a and b we are going to to use the equation that we have of f of x so we are going to write f of x it's equal to x minus 4 all squared x minus 4 all squared minus 9 so since a and b are both the x intercept of f of x we are going to solve for f yo sorry for x so f we are going to equate f of yo f of x will be equal to 0 which means that we are going to write 0 is equal to open bracket x minus 4 close bracket everything squared minus 9 then we solve which is going to give us x squared minus 8x plus 16 this will be minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 plus 16 minus 9 and it's going to give us x minus 7 and x minus 1 so at the end x is going to be equal to 7 or x will be equal to 1 
so just looking at the sketch to know which point or which number goes away, you look at the sketch or which one comes first is A, so which means that A will be having the smaller coordinate compared to B. So the coordinates of A will be 1 and 0. And B will be 7 and 0. The only thing that we are left with right now is finding the coordinate of C. So at this point we have the coordinate of D to find the G of X. So let's waste no time and find C then find G of X in the equation. So to find the coordinate of C we are going to use the equation of F of X then find the Y intercept. So to find coordinate for C, we are going to calculate the y-intercept, which means that we are going to say y is equal to x minus 4, everything squared, minus 9. Everything in this equation is going to be which is which has x where this x x is going to be equal to zero you always have to remember that that whenever you're calculating the y intercept x is always equal to zero so y is going to be equal to is going to be zero so it's going to be zero minus four all squared minus nine so when you calculate everything, it's going to give us 7. So y is equal to 7. Therefore, the coordinates of C is 0 and 7. Then let's go and find the equation of g of x. For g of x, We are going to say that we are going to use the the y the, the equation of finding a straight line. So we're going to say y minus y one is equal to m, which is our gradient x minus x one. Then we close the bracket. So to make things more simple. I'm going to say my y minus y1, then since we don't have the gradient, we are going to use change in y, which is y2 minus y, then over change in x, x1. Everything multiplied by x minus x1. So when you write it like this, the only thing that you're left to do is to just substitute the coordinates. So what I'm going to do is just say y minus 0 is equal to 7 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 4 all then bracket x minus 4 then you solve which is going to be y is equal to minus 7 over 4 x plus 7 this just means therefore g of x which is the equation that we were looking for is equal to minus 7 over 4 x plus 7 
so yeah right now we have find the equation that we were looking for we are done see how easy that is thank you for watching and don't forget to click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos and get in touch with us on our social medias the links are on the descriptions thanks enjoy the rest of your day